I can't describe to you how many times I've watched the first SOS that I've reacted to. Each time I listen to it, it gets more powerful, it gets more impactful, and it gets more touching. I still haven't listened to the original one, by the way. <laughs> I've been listening to Dimash's live performance, and it's just... Uh, especially that last part when he goes like... Something. <laughs> Can't imitate an alien voice, right? Okay, now that I've had my chocolate, and I'm drinking my coffee, I'm so, so ready to check what I'm about to check. And I have no clue what to expect. It might be the exact same thing and he just sang it again. Or it might be a different version. Either case, I'm extremely excited to check it. So without further ado, let's go. Mm. I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, but this specific one is just... I don't need to describe it. You know what I'm talking about. I'm prepared to be blown away. Okay, let's go. Обладатель Гран-при международного конкурса исполнителей эстрадной песни Витебск 2015 Димаш Кудайберген, Казахстан. Димаш. Everyone's so happy to see him. His voice is so sweet. Wow. Okay, okay. I can already see the progress that he made from the first one up until now. We can see how much more control he has over his voice now. And those little riffs that he's adding are giving a very nice touch to the performance. Wow! Oh shit! No way! Wow. <laughs> 
Димаш Кудаберген, Казахстан! I was speechless pretty much throughout the whole, the whole performance. And of course, <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> and then he added this small run. He, he, he added a few runs during this performance. Um, Compared to the first one. Dude, what is this man? <laughs> what is this man? Who gave birth to him? And apparently he's very small. He looks very small. Like, how can such a voice come out a small body like that? <laughs> yeah, look at him. <sighs> the first one, SOS, the first one in 2015. It's perfect. It's untouchable. But... Is there anything more than perfect? For real! His voice got improved so very well, you can tell he's been training even more since that one, since the first one. As I said, he has more control over his vocals. It's just much cleaner, his voice is more clear, right? I wanna go back and listen to somewhere at the beginning. It sounds pretty much like the first one, right? Like, he's that good at singing. You can't really tell the difference between them unless you focused on very specific parts of the performance. Then you will know that this is not the one from 2015. But other than that, it sounds exactly the same because he's so good at consistency. And he has shown a lot of consistency in that performance and in this one. Oh, uh, and then how he... <sighs> the way he just enters with that chest voice. <laughs> it's also pretty hard usually to switch between like a falsetto and then suddenly like a very low note on your chest voice. And he does it perfectly. Perfectly! Mm. Mm. That's so clean. And then... <sighs> His voice is an instrument. Prove me wrong. Try to prove me wrong. His voice is an instrument. Like, wow. I'm floating to heaven right now. Uh. This is insane. He's incredible. Uh. Also, I don't know what it's called technically in the music world, but like the way his voice goes to uh. Um, it's also very interesting. It's very beautiful. Wow. Here it is. He made this riff. I don't remember hearing any run during the first performance, and I've listened to it many times. It's pretty nice to see how he's evolving since then. Wow, this sounds even cleaner than 2015. You know what's crazy about these SOS performances? If you're not watching the screen, if it's blocked from your eyes, you would think, damn, this is a band of five or six, or even seven people. <laughs> what I meant to say is, he's so good at exploring all of the depths of his vocal cords. <sighs> and this is where you reach heaven.
This is the best thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> he needs more recognition. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know and love him. I mean, we can tell by the views that his videos get. And all of you people commenting on my videos, you proved that his fan base is pretty much very, very united. But still, you cannot deny that he still needs more recognition. I think I'm just talking from the perspective of the Western media, but I'm pretty sure he's a very well-known international artist, which is pretty nice. I just wish him the best of luck, and I honestly cannot wait to check the third one. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be coming very soon. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna keep replaying this one and the 2015 one because it has a special place in my heart now. I'm also going to be checking Stranger very soon and then from that point we're going to keep going with everything else that he's been releasing including Ave Maria. I don't know if this is the exact same one but like yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching this with me. Have a good day and a good night and I will see you in the next reaction. Bye.